bed and breakfast in Denver, Colorado? Is that what you really want to do? Well, here are a few tips for you to think about when you look for a bed and breakfast in Denver. My name is Louie and I'm with the Castle Marin Bed and Breakfast. I'm a part of three generations of innkeepers with my in-laws who are our partners, my wife, myself, and our three children. If you're looking for a bed and breakfast in Denver, Colorado, a few things for you to think about. Is the bed and breakfast one that is licensed to offer you food more than just a continental breakfast? Not all the bed and breakfasts are, and certainly not one that is a homestay. You may want to check on that and ask about what types of things they have available, and more importantly, can they accommodate things like food allergies and restrictions, gluten-free, dairy-free, all of that. If they only have uh, something that is just a quick uh, continental style breakfast and it may not be a big deal but if it's something else that they're offering they may not have full access to a kitchen to be able to deal with that. Number two, do they have things like Wi-Fi, fax, printer, computer and the availability of that for you to be able to conduct business if you're there for more than just a getaway or relaxation. Very important. And do they charge extra for it? You need to ask that question because not every place does have it and if they do they may not be giving it to you for free. And finally parking. Parking is a big deal when you get into to the city. Many of the bed and breakfasts are in neighborhoods where it's already difficult parking just for the people who live there, let alone for a bed and breakfast when they get really busy. So you need to find out, do they have on-site parking and do they have it close by? You may end up having to find yourself parking a block or two away and that's difficult. Those are some issues that people have. Here at the Castle Marn we have upwards of six parking spots right on property and then on the street right in front of the building a number of places are always available because we work well with a neighborhood that has business during the day and the evenings are free for our guests because there is very little of the people actually living here. So those are just a few things to think about. We figured you needed to know that. So, when you come to Ca the Denver area for looking for a bed and breakfast, think about the Castle Marne. There are others as well. Make sure you ask those questions. Those are important. And being a Capitol Hill mansion, uh, we were the first ones in the neighborhood and we're still one of the top buildings uh, to be visited. So, come by, take a look. We'd love to have you come and stay with us. Be a part of our family and experience the Castle way to stay. Take care. Happy travels.